What are the details of the Federal Reserve's $1.5 trillion injection? According to the Wall Street Journal, in order to attempt to slow the economic contraction caused by the COVID-19 virus, the Federal Reserve has promised to inject $1.5 trillion into the economy, by making vast sums of short-term loans available on Wall Street and purchasing treasury securities in a coronavirus-related response aimed at preventing ominous trading conditions from creating a sharper economic contraction. How can such a large sum of money be allocated to this without any debate or official order by the government? Where does this money come from? And how does providing loans to Wall Street help prevent the economy from contracting further? There's no loan here. What is happening is a buyback to inject money into the system emphasis mine. Today the Fed announced a $1.5 trillion liquidity provision to the interbank lending market, primarily in the form of repurchase agreements. The interbank lending market comprises the federal funds market in which the Fed actively participates on a daily basis and the repurchase agreement or repo market in which the Fed intervenes primarily when there is a lack of liquidity. In the repo market, one financial institution temporarily trades securities to another institution, with the understanding that it will repurchase those securities in the near future, usually the next day. Banks with large balance sheets often need access to quick cash to conduct regular operations, and the most practical way to get that cash is through repos. Otherwise, managing their balance sheets would be needlessly onerous. And the Federal Reserve is engaging in short-term transactions with banks to ensure financial stability. If the Fed bought your house today and sold it back to you tomorrow, it wouldn't be doing you a huge favor. The Fed's intervention in the repo market, while a boon to the U.S. financial system, is far from a handout.